the day? Good evening, I am very well, I give glory to God. I had a pleasant day by the grace of God. I am a bit tired because I have worked a lot but it can be fine. And you, my love, how was your day? Darling, I had a great day. I give glory to God. I have very good news to tell you. Oh well, darling, what is this good news? Tell me, quickly darling. God answered our prayers. I passed my competition. I am the first in our class. We are only two people allowed. God is faithful to Jesus. I give you glory, thanks to the eternal almighty God. You are worthy of glory, my darling. God is great and faithful. Everyone who puts their trust in him is never ashamed and confused. Thank you, Lord, for this grace that you have given us. Thank you for my fiancé's success. Sweetie, let's pray together to give glory to God and to endorse everything else to him. Lord, we thank you for the victory you won us thanks to our recognition in the name of Jesus. We dedicate this victory and the rest of the journey to you. Holy Spirit helps us, strengthens us, and leads us according to God's will in the name of Jesus. We prayed. Amen. Amen. And, I received this scholarship for five years in America. It's a great opportunity for our future. But separating to you for five years disturbing a lot. It makes me very sad. Living away from you for five years really makes me think. It makes me so anxious it gives me a lot of insomnia. I couldn't sleep all night yesterday. I had a sleepless night. Anne, I love you. I wonder what I should do. Should I refuse the bourse and cancel the trip? What if I did? What will our future be like? We don't have anyone we can count on except God alone. Yesterday, the Holy Spirit only comforted and reassured me. He told me not to worry, that He is with us and that everything will be fine. Apart from God, I only have you and it's the same situation with you too. We were rejected by our parents respectively. I only have one month to get ready. And I'm going to miss you so much. I'm going to miss your warm smile, the laughs. We've been engaged for a year, but it's like we've been together forever. We have planned to do the preparations, but now I have to travel. We can't celebrate our wedding anymore. We'll do it when I get back. I will manage to come back every two years just for you. I know it won't be easy at all, but with the Holy Spirit everything will be fine. I will fight for you. I know that by the grace of God, I would make you happy. God is our daddy, he will not abandon us. Regardless of the difficulties we are going to go through. Know that we will win as always, for our victory is in Christ. Let us walk in the victory of Christ and have the winning mentality. Darling, we are going to walk by faith and not by sight. My dove, my little sister, my confidant and my friend. Let's be strong, it's going to be fine. Elaine, I thank God for the scholarship that was given to you to continue your education in Canada. It's very good news. But living alone is far from you for five years gives me great sadness, a big pinch in my heart. I am devastated, but the Lord is in control. It's going to be fine. Let's put our trust in Him. It was He who chose us to be husband and wife. He will help and support us to the end. You know I don't have anyone but God. And you know how I am rejected in my family, you know how I am abused, but I know that God has a great plan for my life. And it will be fulfilled, even though I think God's promises are long overdue. I will wait, they will certainly fulfill. I love you, Elaine. And, darling, I promise not to betray or abandon you, whoever we meet, whatever we are going to do, whatever we are going to do. I make this promise to you not by relying on myself, but by counting on the Holy Spirit. I trust in Him, I trust in His presence in me and in you. He is my advocate, comforter, and driver. And takes care of you. Please, I will go back and marry her, according to God's advice, according to God's plan. Please, wait for me, darling. Don't give yourself to another man, don't replace him, please. The Holy Spirit will help us to remain faithful to God and to remain faithful to each other. Trust in God, he will not disappoint us. Elaine, I trust in God, the Holy Spirit will help me. I promise to be loyal to you. ELL wait you for as long as it takes, because our relationship comes from God and I love you too. You know, Elaine, darling, 
God knows the end of all things before it began and he knew that you were going to travel after having made a year of engagement. It's God's plan for us. Let us entrust ourselves to him and put all our trust in him. God is faithful. He will give us the strength and support we need to get through this situation and he will grant us victory in the name of Jesus. Amen. You know, darling, we're going to make the most of what little time we have left. Before I leave, we will go together, we will go to the restaurant, we will go for walks. I want us to be together as much as possible. You're going to help me buy everything I need and pack my suitcase. Anne had no fear, was talking about the Holy Spirit. Elaine, my darling, I get it. I trust in God. I trust in you. It's going to be all right, sweetie, I love you. No woman will be able to take the place that God gave you in my heart. By the grace of God, with the help of the Holy Spirit, I will not betray God, so I will not betray you. I also promise you that no man will be able to take the place that God gave you in my heart. I rely on the grace of God and the help of the Holy Spirit, because I cannot do anything by my strength. I love you, Paul. I love you too. And, darling. Elaine. It's getting late. I have to go home tomorrow, I'll go to work. You're right darling, I'm going to take you home. I will come next week to tell your mom the news. Let's not be afraid. God is with us, he will give us victory. I know it won't be easy. We will go through situations, but we will win. God is with us and we are going to win. Darling, we are going to win because God is the one who fights for us. Let us be strong and courageous. Amen. Good evening, Mom. Good evening, Anne. Are you all right? Yes, Mom, I'm fine. I give glory to God. And you? I'm fine too. Anne, you're in good shape. I need $700 for home needs. Mom, where do you want me to get $700? You know very well that I earn $1,600 at work. At the end of each month, I give you $1,000 and I only have $600 left. Mom, I don't have any money, I can't give you $700. You are an incompetent person, something less than nothing. Look at Rose your little sister, you're not ashamed, don't you see the man she dates? How can you give me $700 if you're engaged to Elaine? A loser. You don't look like me at all. When I was at your age, the men I went out with them were very wealthy. You just a nonsense, when I give you advice. You only talk about Jesus. No intelligence. Look at young girls your age, they are in their villa, they drive big cars and have very well stocked bank accounts. You're embarrassing me. I wasted my time bringing you into the world. You're not putting any use out of it. Disappear from my sight. Mom doesn't talk like that, I'm doing what I can. I told you to get out of my sight. Nonsense. Okay, I'm going. Good evening darling mom, how are you? Good evening my beloved daughter. I am very well in you. Mamangil gave me $10,000. He wants to rent me a big house and buy me a nice car. Wow. Great, fantastic. You really are my daughter, you are very smart. It's not your big sister who is so stupid and ashamed for me. She went to pick up an incompetent and useless man. Since it is no vision or ambition, it is no future. I can't count on her. Rose when I see you, I know you have a great future, but your sister is worth absolutely nothing. Mom, life is a choice. She made the choice to be stupid and poor. She can't match me. Where is she? Sometimes mom, I wonder if she really is your daughter. I too am used to asking myself this question. Maybe it was exchanged her at the hospital. She must be in the bedroom. She pity me and at the same time she embarrasses me. Mom, I'm going to give you $5,000. Tonight I won't sleep at home. I'm going to spend the night with Gilles. Maybe I would spend a few days with him. The children of Jesus only need to remain in their ignorance in their lives. And when picked you up this morning, he said he would come back tonight. Rose you want to give me just $5,000? You need to give me more. 
Mom, what is your problem? Why do I have to share the money with you? I'm sorry, but that's the amount I can give you. $5,000. Ask your daughter and if you want more. If Aunt Wen comes, tell him that I have traveled. Justine is coming too. Tell him what you sent me, you need to protect me. My darling has no fear, consider it done. I hope you bring me nice things. I want alcoholic beverages like whiskey, vodka, and the like. Don't worry mom, I'm going to bring you lots of gifts. Okay, thanks sweet eye. Lord, thank you for my life. Thanks for everything you do for me. I give you glory for all the situations of rejection, lack of love and humiliation that I am going through. You told me in SA 49, verse 15, does a woman forget the child she is breastfeeding? Does she stop loving the child she carried? Assuming she forgets it. Me, I will not forget you, Dad, I know that you love me. You have not forgotten me. You are with me and you work tirelessly for my good, even if my family does not want me and rejects me you the Lord, my God and my Dad, you wanted me, you gave me life because you love me. If for my family, I am an accident, a stray bullet, a shame, a misfortune, a failure, a curse for you. I was born according to your will and your plan. You don't regret me. I am your joy and pride. I am a project for you. I was not born by chance. I am an honor, a happiness, a success and a blessing for you. If for my family, I am useless and nonsense, for you Lord, I am invaluable and I was born for a special and unique purpose, no matter what I am going through and experiencing through it. Lord, I put all my trust in you. I forgive them with all my heart and ask you to forgive them because they do not know what they are doing. Your love is my strength and my bulwark. Your love is an unfailing support and reassurance for me. Dad, the Bible states in Psalm 118 verse 22 that the stone that those who built rejected became the main one. By grace, I know that you will make me a rare pearl, the main angle of this family. They will be looking for me because of your wonders in my life. Lord, my God, I trust in your promises, Dad. The situation is not easy. Give me the strength to bear to show true forgiveness and deep love. Holy Spirit protects my heart from hate, wickedness, bitterness, revenge. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you Lord for having answered me. Hi Anne, darling, how are you? Hello my love. I am very well by the grace of God. And you, darling? I am also doing well by the grace of God. Where is your mom? I don't know maybe she's in her room. You know that I am a stranger, an unwanted person in this house. Did you come to see her? My beauty. I know everything. Take courage and strengthen yourself. It's going to be fine. God is in control. Soon, you will get out of all these situations. By the grace of God. It's going to be fine. I'll take care of you. Soon, everything we go through will be nothing but ancient events. I love you, and you are very beautiful and special. Elaine. I trust in God. It's not easy at all, but it's going to be fine. My dove, as I told you, I came to announce my trip to your mom. You're going to call her please. You're going to spend the day with me today. We're going out. I'm going to take you out for fast food. We'll also go to the creamery and to the beach. Okay, darling, got it. Thanks for everything. Wait a moment, I'm going to call mom. Hello mom. How are you? Hello Elaine, I am fine and you are you well? Yes mom, I'm fine. I give glory to God. You there, you are only giving glory to God in everything, at any time and in any way. You only have this slogan, this recitation in your mouth. And said you wanted to see me. What did you bring me? You brought me banknotes. How much is it? Hope it is. A lot. Mom, I came to tell you that I'm traveling in two or three weeks. I am going to America for a few years. Oh good. But that's good. Are you going to send me a lot of money at the end of each month? Send me $10,000.
That would be great. I'm going to get rich. Mom, I am not going to work, but I am going for training. I am going to study. If you are going to America for a training course, why are you disturbing me? What the hell I am doing with your training? It's just for this nonsense that you came to bother me this morning. You and Anne are nothing but useless. You were born to accompany others. Moms, please. Me and Anne did not come to accompany anyone. We were born for a purpose, a special plan set by God. Mom, I'm going to leave you alone. Thanks for your time. Bye. God bless you. Bye, Paul. And above all, don't forget to send me money. Honey, did you hear everything my mom said? All that matters to her is money. She has no grain of love, no consideration for me. For her, I am only an object, but I know that for God, I am a wonderful folk music project. Darling, don't think about your mom. Everything she said meant absolutely nothing to me. It's not your mom's bad attitudes that are going to cause me to give up everything or to let you down. It was God who made us for each other. And I love you, Anne. You are an invaluable treasure for God and for me. Your mom doesn't know who you are. If she knew it, she was not going to behave like this. Glasses, my love, I love you and I am here for you. Thank you, darling. You are also a treasure for me. You know, darling, you don't have to be mad at your mom and sister. You have to forgive them and pray for her. God asks us to forgive our enemies and to do them good. Do not allow yourself to be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good, according to Romans 12, verse 21. Darling, I know it's not easy, but I'm praying for the Holy Spirit to help you. It's going to be fine. I know that you are a valiant woman. I trust you, my dove. Thank you, darling, for your advice and support. Both of us can only trust in God. I love you, Elaine. I love you too, my love. Don't you want us to go and stay at the beach for a while? Yes, honey, that's a good idea. Okay, here we go, sweetie. Wow, darling, it's great to live here. There is freshness. The nature is very beautiful. God created everything for human happiness and well-being. Yes, darling, it's true. Nature is very beautiful when you look at and carefully observe everything that God has created. You will understand how the love of God is so great and infinite for human beings. It's like a dad or a mom making the baby. Everything that is needed for the arrival of the baby it made before. God has created everything we need in advance. It's great. God is good and wonderful. I love him so much. Elaine, you're right. God is too good. Whoever does not love God, whoever rejects Jesus is harming himself. It's destroying himself, and... In two weeks, we'll be very far away from each other, but close to our hearts. Darling, I'm going to miss you so much. I will feel so alone. I feel very happy with you and by your side. I love you very much, Lynette. I bless the Holy Spirit for this beautiful choice he made for me. Elaine, you cannot know how my heart is torn and suffering because of your trip. I haven't been able to sleep since you gave me the news. I'm going to feel alone. Sweetie, let us be strong and put our trust in God. I am suffering to the core of myself. The situation is very delicate for me. If I could do something, I was going to do it, my beauty. Elaine, I love you. I'm going to miss you so much. Me too. I love you, darling. I'm going to miss you too. We're going to call each other every day. We'll be doing video calls too. You know, darling, I was given $50,000 for my preparations. I will give you $25,000 that you will keep in your account for your needs and in case of emergency. Please, my darling, take care of this amount, because I don't know how the situation will be there. The way your mom treats you, I don't know what will happen after I leave. Once in America, I'll see what we're going to do. If I manage to do odd jobs, besides training, I will also send you money that you will keep in your bank account for our wedding preparations. And there's no fear, you will be my wife. I'm going to make you happy. I am not going to betray you if I betray you. It was God that I betrayed. Thanks Paul for all that you do for me. I won't betray you either. Hello my darling mom, 
How are you? Wow. Hello my darling Rose, I am fine. I am more than well. Gilles makes me so happy. Where is your useless daughter? I don't know are you looking for her? What am I going to do with her? Gilles rented me a big house. I will be rare at home now. He specially ordered me a car. I will have it in two or three months. I'm going to go back. The driver is waiting for me outside. I'm going to give you $3,000. I will be back in two days. It's great. Rose, you're only going to give me $3,000? I need money. I want you to add something. Mom, that's all I have to give you. If you don't add anything to me, I'm not going to cover you anymore. I will tell Antoine and Justine everything. Mom, I told you that's what I have. Anyway, if you tell them something, you won't have anything left in my house. I'm not Anne, my name is Rose, I'm going goodbye. Please don't go away. Elaine, Anne's fiancé, came to tell me that he is going to America. America to do what, him? Elaine, in America, it's a lie. Don't listen to him, Mom, it's nonsense. Will he grow his wings or crawl to get to America? Mom don't listen to this nonsense, this nonsense, they're all liars. Your daughter and her fiancé. I'm going away Mom. Jill must be waiting for me because we have an errand to do. Okay bye darling. Darling, tomorrow is the day I leave for America. I wanted us to be together tonight. How are you? How do you feel? I'm fine, sweetie. I feel good because of God's grace. It's not easy, but it can be fine. Let's be strong my darling. How did you like the evening? Did you like it? Yes, darling, I really liked it. Thank you for all the attention you give me. I love you. I love you too. Tomorrow are you going to work? No, honey, I asked my boss for permission. Tomorrow I will spend the whole day with you. Afterwards, we will leave together at the airport in the evening. Wow, you gave me a nice surprise. I am very happy. Darling, it's getting late, I have to go home. I hope we'll be in communion for tonight's vigil. Wow, I forgot that we've scheduled a prayer vigil tonight. Thank you darling for that reminder. We need to leave. I'm going to take you home. And, my love, I love you so much. Me too. I love you, Elaine. Darling, I've finished all the formalities. It's time for me to leave. Take care of yourself, sweetie. Soon we'll be together. Do not forget to pray for me because I need your prayers. I will also be praying for you. I am not leaving alone, but with you because you are in my heart. Anne is forever. I love you and takes care of you. Don't forget that. Please. Honey, don't worry, I'm going to take care of myself. I trust in God. He is my strength and my support. I will not forget you, I am waiting for you. Even if you're not physically present, I know that you are in my heart. I love you, Anne. Take care of yourself so that the Holy Spirit will keep you. Goodbye my darling, I will call you, my faithful friend will take you home. I love you very much. Honey, I get it. Goodbye my love. Hi Anne, how are you? Hello Loyal. I am well by the grace of God. And you I'm fine. My dear sister, I give glory to God. Soon Elaine will be back. He really misses you. I just got off the phone with him, he was only talking about you. Elaine really loves you. It's going to be okay by God's grace. God is in control. I know that on your side, you're going through the same thing as him. I am praying for you all the time. And, be strong and courageous. Loyal. Thank you so much for your advice and support. God bless you richly. Don't hesitate to ask me anything you need. Even if I don't have it right away, I'll see what to do. I love you very much. You are special to Elaine. 
My heart goes out to you. Too. Thanks for everything, Loyal. And I'm going to leave you alone. I'm going to the gym to see if I can find something to do. Despite my diplomas, my job applications here and there. I haven't found the work yet, but I still trust in God. One day, God will intervene. Do not despair, Loyal. One day, God will bless you. The Bible states in Ecclesiastes 3, verse 4, that there is a time to cry, a time to laugh. There is a time to lament, a time to dance. My faithful brother, it will be all right, strengthen yourself and take courage. God is in control of everything. Thanks, my sister. Your words comfort me. Bye in. Goodbye. Good morning, doctor. Good morning, sir. What can I do for you? The nurse said you wanted to see me. My name is Monsieur Erlaine. I have just accompanied a gentleman who was in a very serious condition. He fainted in his car. He was unconscious when I saw him in the car. I think he parked the car when he started feeling unwell. I called the ambulance and followed him all the way here. I don't know what to do. It is a very courageous and kind act that you have done. You will complete some formalities at our level. We are going to take all of your contact information. We will also check and register everyone who belongs to him and report him to the police as well. Okay, thank you so much madam. Can I also get a copy of all the ones we are going to record? Yes, Mr. Elaine, there is no problem. How is he? What is her condition at the moment? It's going to be fine, don't worry. We have administered a few products to him and we are subjecting him to some analyses. He's still in a coma, but he's going to be fine. Thank you very much, madam. How do you like Elaine Mimi? Who are you talking about? Who is called Elaine? I am talking about the handsome young man who is in the same auditorium as us, the new student. Oh yes, I remember. He is very handsome, always calm and very intelligent. And it shines a lot. No girl can resist his charm. It's Choco, I like it a lot. I'm going to seduce him. I would do whatever it took, everything I could to have him fall into my net. The net of Mimi, the professional. He is so cute, too cute. How many men do you want to have for yourself alone? You're exaggerating. Leave the young man alone. It's because you also like him and you're pretending. Beware if you approach him. I don't like him. I have nothing to do with him. It would be better for you to stay very far away from him because you know what I, Mimi, am capable of. I know the number of his house. I'm going to see him. I don't miss my targets. I am very skilled and sharp. Mimi I think I will leave you because I have homework and presentations to do tomorrow. Tomorrow? Jolie, I'll come and tell you how I got him. Hello cute young man. Elaine, you are a shock. Hi Mimi. Are you fine? I am fine, thank you. And you? I give glory to God. I am going later. No Elaine, don't leave. I want you to come to my house so we can get to know each other better. I'm going to cook you a nice meal. See you tomorrow at 9 p.m. I'm sorry Mimi, I can't come to your house, neither today nor later because I am very busy. Elaine, I like you very much, I want you to become my lover. Don't say no. Otherwise I would die. Mimi, I can't become your lover or anything. I can't sin against God. I am the temple of the Holy Spirit. I am engaged and I love my fiancé. No woman is comparable or equal to my fiancé. You will never belong to any woman if it's not mine alone. Elaine, I love you and you will be mine. I am going to leave goodbye Mimi. You will not escape me. You will fall in my net. Hello Elaine. How are you? I am well by the grace of God. And you? I am not well. I am confused. I need you. Can I go home? I want to talk to you. No Mimi can't go home to my house. It is late and I am in communication with my fiancé. If there is something, you can say it. 
but getting into my room is out of the question. You were starting to piss me off. It's been eight months since I told you that I like you and that I love you. But you are being smart, you always refuse my gifts and advances. Who are you to stand up to me? Who are you to resist me? No man can resist me. Mimi, I told you that I am a child of God and my body does not belong to me. I can't use my body to do anything. I am called to live a life of sanctification because I am holy in Christ. I can't do what you ask me to do because it's incompatible with who I am. I can't betray my dad. I can't sin against God. I also told you that I have a wife, Mimi. I love God, I love my fiancé. Do you think you're going to get away with it that easily? I'm going to show you what I can do. You're going to suffer and mold in this country. I will see if your God of whom you talk so much, this God that you do not want to betray will be able to save you will be able to help you. I'll see if you can go back to your country to marry that shitty woman you were so praising. I'm going to hurt you, I'm going to make your life very hard and bitter. The Bible says in Isaiah 54, 17 No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. He will deliver me, he will not abandon me, you are going to see. Eternal Lord, Almighty God, I want to glorify you, bless you for all the benefits in my life and that of an. You are the one who protects me and fights for me. I put it in your hands, me me Lord, that everything she schemes and plans against me is null and void. As you promised me in your word. Makes us victorious over any situation and any attack by the enemy. Dad, I give you glory. I raised you up because you always give us victory in Christ in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hello Elaine. Hi Mimi. Excuse me for bothering you. I brought you back your economics book that you borrowed from me. It's been several months. Thank you so much, please. Hope you were able to do what you borrowed it for. Yes, that's fine, I did it. Thank you so much. Goodbye by Mimi. Hello Mr. Lane. Good morning sir, what can I do for you? I'm Detective Marcos. You are under arrest for possession and sale of drugs. Keep quiet. Otherwise everything you say will be used against you. Please follow me to the police station. It is not possible. Am I dreaming or what? Drugs? Mr. Lane. Give me your identity. Tell me the purpose of your stay in this country. How long have you been here and the end of your stay? My name is Elaine. I have been here for a year and six months. I am studying economics and management. I'm here for five years. You are under arrest for possession and sale of drugs. We found drugs in small bags. In your economics book. Mr. Inspector, this book you are talking about was brought back to me. It was only four days ago by a colleague who had borrowed for her revisions. I have never sold or used drugs. I've never seen drugs with my own eyes. Mr. Elaine, I am asking you to cooperate. It will be more beneficial for you. Where do the goods come from? How many times are you delivered and who delivers the goods to you? Who is at the head of the network? Who are your accomplices here? You need to speak out and tell us the whole truth, because you have up to 30 to 35 years in prison. Inspector, excuse me, but I don't know anything about what you're asking me. As you refuse to cooperate, you will be locked up until they present you to the judge, while preparing your cases and having you appear before the judge. Okay, got it, Inspector. Thank you. Hi Elaine, are you alright? Hi Mimi, I am very well. I give all the glory to my God. What are you doing here? Are you selling drugs now? I didn't know you were a drug dealer. Say what you want, it's only up to you. Nonsense. I told you I would make you suffer. You are going to rot in prison. Who will get you out? Your wife is going to age, your god, your daddy, on whom you are happy, have only to come and deliver you. It's over for you. You don't know anyone in this country. You are unable to get a lawyer. Poor wretch. The God that I adore and embrace with all my heart will deliver me. I trust him. I will not rot in prison. As you say, you will be ashamed and confused. 
you declared war on God by touching the apple of his eye that I am. May God forgive and bless you for all that you have done. The purpose for which you did it will not be fulfilled. You think you've hurt me, but it's good that you've done me without you knowing it. God is going to have all this work together for my good, Minnie. You failed. I will pray for you for your soul to be saved. Goodbye Elaine, you will spend your eternity here. Dad, Eternal Almighty God is getting glory and honor for whatever situation I am going through right now. Lord, I don't understand anything at all, but the only thing I know is that you are in control of everything and nothing is impossible for you. I know that you are with me as you promised me in the 43 verses of I will not be overwhelmed or embraced by this difficulty. You who knew everything before I came to this country. You knew I would have this problem and you have planned a solution for a long time. Dad, I have no one but you, you are my only deliverance and my only justice. I don't know how you're going to do it, but what I do know is that you're going to get me out of here. If Joseph's brothers knew that by selling Joseph they were leading her into the destiny for which he was jealous, they would not do it. Behind this pain lies glory, happiness for me. Strengthen me, make me firm until my victory, take care of Anne, protect her, convince her of my love for her, of our marriage. In the name of Jesus. I prayed. Call me from last Monday, but he didn't. He didn't even message me to tell me anything, as he used to. I haven't heard from him in over two weeks. Myself. I called him several times, but his phone didn't get through. What is going on? God, has something happened to him? Has he been ill since he left? It's been a year and a half. He never failed to call me one day. Sometimes we speak up to three times a day. I don't understand anything at all. I even left him messages that have never been read in all this time. Lord, I put Elaine in your hands, protect him and intervene by your grace in his life, Dad, wherever he is and whatever he is going through. I know that you are with him, that any plan of the enemy against his life is null and void in the name of Jesus. Fidel, how are you? Hi Anne. I am well by the grace of God. And you? Loyal, I am not well at all, but I give glory to God for his grace and love. I haven't heard from Elaine for many months. I don't understand anything. I don't know what to say or think. I don't know where I am anymore. I prayed, fast. I held prayer vigils for him. Every time. All the Holy Spirit is telling me is to stay calm. It's going to be fine. He tells me not to be afraid, not to worry, that Elaine will come back without any problem. He asks me to trust in God and not stop praying for Elaine. Sometimes he gives me verses like Romans 8, verse 28, and Isaiah 30, verse 15. I no longer know what to do, may the Holy Spirit help and strengthen me. It's not easy at all. Anna, I understand everything you're going through. I know all the pain that is ripping your heart out, but know that God is in control of everything and that it's going to be fine. Strengthen and encourage yourself. God is faithful, he can never give up or betray you. Put all your trust in him does not allow despair and discouragement to take over everything. Stay strong and unwavering. You know, I also think a lot about Elaine and I don't stop praying for him. I miss him too, but on your side it would be different. God can never abandon him because he is his child. Tomorrow, I will come to take you, for a walk to share ideas with you. We will go to the park and to the beach. Thank you for Del for your support, advice, and prayers. God give it back to you a hundredfold. Amen, my beloved sister. God bless and keep you as well. Amen. And I'm going to leave you because I have an appointment. I'm going to call later. Bye Anna, and take care of yourself. Okay, loyal, got it. Bye and thanks for everything. Lord, I would like to thank you for my life. Thank you for this new day that you gave me. May it be a source of blessings and happiness for me. Deliver me from any enemy plan and make me victorious, Dad. In the name of Jesus, I also thank you for Elaine's life. Wherever he is, protect him and bless him for doing good. 
Lord, every time I talk about Elaine, you ask me to remain calm and to put all my trust in you because you are at work. Lord, thank you for this extraordinary work that you do. Thank you for all the graces you will give us. I give you all the glory. Protect us and protect our love in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hi Anne. How are you? Good morning madam. By the grace of God I am fine. Thanks and you? I'm fine too. You know Anne, you are a very good girl and you have a very good heart. You have been loyal in this store and you have taken care of everything. As if it were your personal property. I am very proud of you. You are not unaware of the difficulties we have been going through in the last two years. As expected, Dad and I decided to close the store for some time to think better. Starting today, the store will be closed until further notice. Today we are at the end of the month. I'm not going to pay you one month's salary, but I'm going to give you four months' salary. I know it's not much, but it will help you for a while. Thank you so much Anne. Thank you so much. You are a very special girl. I love you deeply with all my heart. I wish you great happiness. May God open great doors of blessing and elevation before you. Amen Madam. Thank you very much Madam, I understood everything you said. Thanks for hiring me all this time. Throughout the time I have spent with you, you have always treated me well. You took me as your sister, your daughter. You have never heard me or disregarded me. You've always treated me well. Everyone who comes here doesn't even know that I'm not part of the family. Thank you madam for giving me a good time. Thanks to your husband too. Thanks for everything he did for me. Anne, you are a girl that I love and appreciate so much. It's really rare to see a girl like you these days. I am your big sister. Do not hesitate to call me if you have a problem. My heart and my door are wide open for you. You know that you are a good girl and you are invaluable. I love you very much. Thank you madam for your kindness. I love you too. You have brought a lot of things into my life. I have had times of joy and peace with you. Don't cry Anne. We are still together. You can come home anytime you want. I am here for you. Lord, until when? Eternal God, my dad comes to my rescue because I can't do anything without you. Help me, strengthen me, give me the capacity to be able to overcome, get through all these situations. Dad, it's stronger than me. I am crying out to you, come to my aid. I haven't heard from Elaine in two years. I just lost my job this morning. At home, I'm going through hell, I'm being rejected by my mom and my sister. I am denigrated and humiliated. I am constantly insulted and sometimes beaten. They kick me out of the house because of you and because I refuse to do what they do or what they want. The Bible states in 2 Timothy 3 verses 12 now, anyone who wants to live godly in Jesus Christ will be persecuted. Lord, allow me to live even more piously for you and for your glory. Holy Spirit, help me to spread the fragrance of Christ through my life regardless of the situation. For the Bible states in 2 Corinthians 4, verses 16 to 18 that is why we do not lose heart. And even if our external man is destroyed, our inner man is renewed day by day, because our slight afflictions of the present moment produce for us, beyond all measure, an eternal weight of glory. Because we do not look at visible things, but at things that are invisible. Because visible things are fleeting and invisible things are eternal, Dad, allow me to honor your name in all these situations. Help me get through all these difficulties by doing good than by doing harm. According to Peter 3 verses 16 to 17. Because the glory that awaits me is not comparable to what I am experiencing today. Thank you for all the solutions you have planned for me in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, thank you for the three months salary that you gave me through my blessed boss there. Not to mention her husband in the name of Jesus. Amen. The four months salary that my boss gave me was $5,000. Mom, take $1,000 of my salary at the end of each month in the range of $4,000. I'm going to give her back $4,000 and I'll only have $1,000 left. How long can I live on $1,000? 
I will have to find a new job very quickly, otherwise I will not be able to get by. Lord, please give me a job, otherwise I don't know what I would do. I trust in you oh my God, I'm going to go home to rest. I am very tired. I haven't heard from Elaine for a long time now. And six months that I've been home with no work. I went everywhere, but found nothing. Fidel also did everything to find me a job, but he got nothing. What am I going to do? God, I don't have any money left. How am I going to live? I don't have a single dollar left. It is Faithful who helps me so that I can eat. He paid for my lunch yesterday. He too does not have a fixed job and he is struggling to survive. I don't want to be a burden to him. Lord, please help me. I know that by your grace, I will get out of all these situations. But I will come out filled with love, compassion, forgiveness, peace, and happiness. I will come out raised and mature in the name of Jesus. Amen God. I am proud of you because you are my dad and I am your daughter. Hello mom, hello Anne. Are you alright? Yes mom, I am fine by the grace of God. And I called you to talk. For two months you have been unable to give me the poor and lousy $1,000 that you give me at the end of each month. What is it? I called you to collect the $2,000 because I need the money. Mom, please. I don't have any money, I don't have a job anymore. I'll give you the money when I get work. I'm going to wait until you get a job before giving me my money. No, that is not possible. Instead of staying in the room crying and praying for Elaine, you had better go out and get work. Please, Mom, I go out every day to look for work. Some people promise to call me, but they haven't done it yet. I know that God will do something for me in a short time, dreaming of it is useless. Where is Elaine? He is fine. Paul is in America, he is doing great. By the grace of God. Have you heard from him? Yes, Mom, I hear from him every day. You're a liar, you're nothing but a beast. No intelligence. You haven't heard from Elaine in two years and six months. He betrayed you, he abandoned you. It's over for you. You are nothing but a liar, a fool, a lie. I heard you cry in your room saying that you haven't heard from Paul in two years and six months. You saw nothing. It's just the beginning. Elaine, you don't. He abandoned you. Mom, what did I do to make you mean to me? Why don't you like me? You never like everything I do. You were just bashing me, saying mean words, cursing words. What did I do to you? Tell me so that I can ask your forgiveness. Rose is your favorite girl and you turned her against me. She doesn't think of me as her big sister. I'm just a mop for both of you. In this house, if you don't want me to live here, Mom, tell me and you really are my mom. Show me my dad so I can go to his house. Mom, I love you, you know it very well. What are you doing for me to ask me to love you? What are you giving me? Can't you see what Rose is doing for me? I told you to go out with rich men, but you refused. You resisted me in the face of all these rich men who are courting you. We could be very, very rich. Are you talking about your dad? Do you have a daddy? I don't even know him. I didn't tell you that I needed a child for you to come. Did I call you? I was living my good life and you arrived. I did everything to have an abortion, to evacuate you. You refused to go back where you came from. I don't love you and I don't want you. You ruined my life. I want you to do what I did, but you turned it down. You are not my problem. I don't give a shit about you. I don't calculate you and I never calculate you. For me, you don't exist. Rose agreed to follow me and follow me in my footsteps. I love her very much, she's my daughter and the only one I have. I will never love you. Whatever you do, you're wasting your time. I'm giving you two weeks to give me my $3,000. Get out of here. Nonsense. Useless girl. Mom, why? Why do you think you're going to get married when I, Charlotte, haven't married? Get out. From here disappear from my side. Lord, where are you? This me, please, do not abandon me. 
My heart is broken and painful. If I have not been desired by my mother, Lord, I know that I have been desired by you. That is why, despite everything she was able to do to eliminate me, I am still living. You have a wonderful plan for my life and I would fulfill it by grace. I will be what you have established for my life. I will be what you want me to be for your glory. I will make it my generation to the eternal God. If for my mother, I am a child, an undesired and bastard, for you, I am a child that you have wanted so much, and my coming to earth has been a great honor and an infinite joy for you. I am not a bastard child, because the Bible states in Eugene 316 that Jesus, to whom I believed gave me the power to become a child of God. God, you are my daddy and I know that you love me. Heal me, Holy Spirit, of all the wounds I have had since my mother's womb. The Bible states, Colossians 2 14, a uh, superscripto, having cancelled the charge of our legal indebtedness, which stood against us and condemned us, he has taken it away, nailing it to that the act whose ordinances condemned me continued against me. Jesus erased and destroyed it. In Galatians 3, verse 13, the Bible states that Christ redeemed me from the curse of the law, having become a curse for me, because it says cursed and whoever is hanged on the wood in the name of Jesus by the blood of Jesus. I delete and destroy all the cursing words, all the negative and evil words that my mother has said about me since the first day of my pregnancy. I declare that all these words are null and void in my life, in the lives of my children and the lives of all my descendants forever. Christ redeemed me from all these curses and became a curse for me according to Romans 8. Verse 1. There is no longer any condemnation and charge on my life because I am in Christ. I pray in the name of Jesus that the words on which she stands to accuse and condemn me will be overturned and destroyed by the blood of Jesus in my life, that of my children and descendants. I declare that I am justified in Christ, Lord, everything she did or drank to abort wherever she lugged the pregnancy. Deliver me from all this that all spirit may be consumed by your fire. Lord, Show your power to deliver me from every spirit of rejection, of shame. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, take all the control and do your work. Thank you Lord for having answered me. Lord forgive my mother and sister and save their souls in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hello madam, how are you? Hello sir, I am very well, thank you. To what do I owe the honor of the visit of such a charming, gallant, handsome and very rich man? Madam, how do you know I am rich? Do you know me? It's very simple when you see someone who smells like money, you'll know it. I am a professional in this field. Madam, you are right, I am Baba Money who everyone in the country is talking about. It's me Baba Money. Oh good. Wow. I have always heard of you, but today you are in front of me. If you came back to my house this morning, that means happiness. The money comes in my home. Madam, happiness has truly returned to your home. I'm here this morning for your daughter Anne. I really love her and I would like to make her my girlfriend, my darling. If she wants, she can become my tenth wife. She will have it all. She will lack nothing. I will take care of the whole family. Baba money there is no problem. Anne is a very difficult girl, but if you see me personally, that means if you put something in my mouth, I can do the trick for you. You also know that today's girls need to be proven that you love them by doing good things. For everything you've just said. Don't worry, it's not a problem at all. I'm going to do it. I'm going to give you $200,000 for yourself, and I'm giving you $50,000 for him. I'm traveling tomorrow for business. I will be back in a month. I think that one month is enough for you to get her to accept my advances. Bob and Money have no fear when you return, the meal will be ready for tasting. Okay, thank you very much madam, you are very kind. Goodbye madam. We'll see each other again in a month. Goodbye sir. Mom, you called me? Yes, I called you. I want to talk to you. I hope that this time you will listen to me. Have you ever heard of Baba Money, this very rich man that everyone in the country talks about? Yes, I've heard of him. Why are you asking me that? 
He just left me, he came for you. He wants to make you his girlfriend if you agree. Later, he will make you his tenth wife. I think it's a great opportunity that you need to take advantage of. Your goal came true, because you said in past days. When I called you for my $3,000, you said your God is going to do something about it in a short time. It's the answer to your prayers. Mom. God can never give me the solution to my problems through sin. It is not through sin that God will solve my difficulties. These are Satan's proposals. Mom, I'm sorry, it's out of the question. My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. I'm not going to use it to do anything. I would never go out with this man. I say no and categorically. If you refuse to go out with Bablamani, you are going to leave this house. I'm going to kick you out of my house this time. I will not let this very juicy opportunity pass me by. Mom, I will never betray my God, I love him and I will not do what you say to sin against my God, my body, it is home. I refuse to desecrate the temple of the Holy Spirit that I am. I am ready to get out of this house, even if it's right away. Mom, excuse me for telling you the truth, I'm tired. Enough is enough. Anyway, that's what we're going to see. Ungrateful, useless. You bad, go get out of my sight. Nonsense. Eternal Almighty God, I give you glory for your protection and presence in my life every sunrise. Thank you for supporting and strengthening me in all these situations that I am going through. Thanks for being everything to me. Dad, thank you for Elaine's life. Thanks for everything you do for him. It's been four years and six months since Elaine went to America, but I haven't heard from him in the last three years. Every time I come to your face worried and depressed, you tell me not to worry because he did not abandon me for another woman. You tell me to be calm, to keep praying and to trust you. You also gave me Romaine. 8, verse 31 which says if you're with us, who will be against us? Dad, I trust you, I completely abandon myself in your hands. I feel really tired, but strengthen myself. I bless the life of the faithful and I entrust him to you so that you can help him, Dad. Since I no longer have a job, he has been helping me. Despite his situation he blessed him in the name of Jesus. Amen, Dad. Deliver me from Mommy and this man, Bablamani, may all their plots be null and void in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you Dad for your infinite grace. Amen. Hi Ann, darling, how are you? Good morning sir, I am well by the grace of God, thank you. Excuse me sir, never call me your darling again because I am not and I will never be your darling. Anything you and my mom are up to, I'm not into it. What did you just say? You agreed to become my girlfriend. I have been giving money to your mother for you for three months, and you told me this morning that you are not my darling. I am sending you valuable gifts, jewelry, bracelets and necklaces made of gold and diamonds. I provide food for you and your family every month. I pay all the bills for this house, and you tell me you don't want me. It's not going to happen that way. Sir, I am not aware of anything and I have taken nothing concerning everything you have mentioned. I am not even aware of all the expenses you make in this house. I never asked you anything. Go see the woman who took all these things from you. Me, I am a child of God and I can never put myself in this kind of relationship. I am informing you that I am a married woman. You're just scammers in this house. You know who you're dealing with. Goodbye sir. Good morning, madam. Hello, Baba Money. How are you? I am very well, thank you. And you? I'm also fine, thanks. Anne just left me about 10 minutes ago. She came to tell me that she loves you deeply and that she can't wait to meet you. She says that you are a special and good man. Baba Money, really. You are lucky that Anne accepted you and that she loves you, because she is a terrible girl. 
Madam, you take me like a beast, a jerk. Do you think I'm a fool? You're going to pay me back everything I gave you, or you're going to end up in prison. The police will pick you up at your home. I met your daughter at the gate. She told me everything. I am aware of everything. Anything I give you for her, you don't give her anything, you keep everything to yourself. She is not aware of anything. I give you 36 hours to return everything I gave you. I, Baba Money, am not joking. Thief. Manipulative. Lighthearted woman. Baba Money, we're going to fix that. Rely on me. I told you to trust me. I give you 60 hours to return everything I gave you, otherwise you will rot in prison. Bye. International thief. I did not call you to come to this house. I did not ask you to come in court Anne. It was you who came. Me, I just wanted to help you. It won't be a problem for me. Bye sir. You will see, madam, if you do not return my things to me. I don't owe you anything. I did you a favor. Hi Anne, you are fine. What is going on? You are very sad this morning. Loyal. I am tired. I am disoriented. I don't know where I am anymore. I miss Elaine so much. I haven't heard from Paul in three years. I haven't had a job. And at home it's a total chaos. My mom wants to kick me out of the house because I refuse to give my body to a vicious, rich old man. My mom is forcing me to do regular prostitution. Can you imagine, this man has nine wives? It is not possible. What kind of mom is she? And it's not easy at all but be strong and takes courage. It's going to be alright, God is going to surprise you. She told me that she will kick me out of the house if I refuse to go out with Baba money. Fidel, where am I going to go? I don't have money to rent an apartment. I have nothing left. In any case, I would rather sleep on the street than desecrate the temple of God that I am. I refuse to sin against God. And if your mother hunts, you come to my house, I am there for you. I am going to give you my room and go live with friends. I will come to you from time to time to bring you money, take you for a walk so that you are less worried and pensive. But Loyal, you are doing too much for me. You also have problems. You know, and don't care for me, it's going to be fine. God is in control. I am a man and you are a woman. I can't leave you on the street. It is impossible. I need to protect you. Whatever it takes for me to do, I will do it for you. Do not be afraid. God is faithful, it's going to be fine. Every time I pray for Elaine, God reassures me and asks me not to worry. He asks us to be calm and to put all our trust in Him. And be courageous. Elaine will soon be at your side by the grace of God. Thank you so much Fidel, thank you so much. God bless you. May He bless you too. Amen. Good evening mom. Who are you calling mom? I am your mother. Why don't you do what I tell you to do? What is your response to Baba money? Mom, I've already given you my answer and I won't talk about it again. It's no and no. Look at this thing. Do you think Elaine is going to marry you? Are you going to get moldy? Do you think you're going to get married and be happy? As long as I, Charlotte, don't get married, you're not going to get married, you're going to suffer. Watch out. If Bobby Money put me in jail, you're going to see. Mom, I won't see anything because you took Bobby Money's money without my consent. In the name of Jesus Christ Mother, I am going to get married and live in great happiness. All these words are null and void, for Jesus was cursed in my place, and in him I was blessed in the name of Jesus, and with the blood of Jesus I cancel and destroy all these words. Anne comes out of my house and never tries to see me again, because I am not your mother at all. Watch out if I find you on my way. Goodbye Anne. Mom, what did I do to you? Why do you being so mean to me? Outside. Undesired child and bastard, get out of my house. Don't ever try to see me again. I don't like you pick up your stuff and get out. I got it mom, I'm going to take my luggage and leave. Hello Mrs. Charlotte. Hello sir. 
What do you want to look for yourself? Rose my darling daughter. I am Inspector Jacques Madam. You are under arrest for fraud and manipulation. Please follow me to the police station. Keep quiet. Otherwise everything you say will be used against you. Inspector, I have not defrauded anyone as far as I know. I'm going to call my daughter. You will do it when you get to the police station. Madam, give me your name, age, profession and full address. My name is Charlotte, I am 55 years old. I'm doing my best. I live at 55 Hola Street. My phone number, 564-789-7895. Mrs. Charlotte, do you know Baba Money? He accuses you of fraud and manipulation. What do you have to say? Please? Mr. Inspector, Mr. Baba Money gave me money so that I could convince my daughter to become his girlfriend. I did not defraud him, but he paid me for a job. I did get the job done. If that didn't work, it's not my fault. So I don't blame myself for anything. Ma'am, you have taken a lot of money out of your daughter's account from Mr. Baba Money. You also took valuable items as well. The total of everything you extracted from Mr. Baba Money comes out to $3 million. Are you going to pay? We are going to release you if you pay. Inspector, I don't even have a single dollar. If you lift me up now, you won't even find one dollar where you are. If you give me money, I will not refuse. Ma'am, you are fine. Okay, we're going to put you in a cell until you have the money to pay. I'm going to give you my daughter Rose's number. She will come to pay. Okay, madam. For now, you will stay to the cell until your daughter comes to pay. Hello, mom. How are you? It's been three days since the inspector called me, but I was traveling with Gilles. We just got there and I came to see you. Things are not going well with you. They called you that your mom was arrested and you stayed for three days before coming. What is this rudeness? Du Gilles is more important than me. Who am your mom? Mom, I told you that I was traveling with Gilles. I can't leave him to see you. I did not ask you to take $3 million from Baba money and I don't even know what you did with that amount of money. You called me why? I call you to come and take me out of the prison? Go get $3 million to come and pay for me to be released. Hurry up, you have one week. I can't stay here anymore. Go see your men to gather the three million. Mom, what did you do with all that money? When you swindled Bob the money what did you do with all the valuables he gave you in six months? You want to tell me that you spent all this money? What does that mean? I am supposed to give you reports or reports on my expenses related to my life. I did what I liked, what I should do with the money. Why did I give birth to you so you could help me when I am in trouble? In trouble, mom? Three million dollars and a colossal sum, it's impossible for me to come up with that. I don't know what I'm going to do to get that amount of money. You don't know what you can do? What did you do before? Why is it a woman? Going to find yourself a minister? A great businessman for example. If you find three big wigs, you can raise three million dollars in less than a week. Oh good. Is it true? Okay. Got it. Wait for me, in a week, I would bring you the three million dollars. Goodbye mom. Goodbye my daughter. I knew I could always count on you. I realized that this woman never loved me. She said that she gave birth to me not because of herself, but to help her when she is in trouble. She also said that herself, because I agree to do whatever she tells me. And this is only for his profit, her advantage. I give myself to men and bring her money. She made me her slot machine. Her cash machine. In fact, she doesn't like me, but it's what I gave her that she likes. She never cared about me, she never loved me. All that matters to her is money. She only has love for herself. She only thinks of herself. She is extremely selfish, greedy, and mean. She took me away from my sister. She manipulated me and turned me against my sister so she could destroy my life. And is a very good person. She has a very kind heart. Despite everything I did to her, she never wanted to hurt me. Today, 
I sincerely recognized that Anne wanted nothing but my well-being through all the advice she gave me. She wanted me to be happy, while I denigrated, humiliated, and insulted her. I had no consideration for her. She told me about Jesus, but I rejected her. I helped mom torture her physically, verbally, emotionally. Anne, please forgive me. I sincerely ask your forgiveness. I realize how much you love me. Today I understand that you are the one who is on the right path. I don't even know where you are right now, otherwise I was going to come see you, because I am so hungry and thirsty to see you. I miss you, Anne, I will do everything I can to find you so that we can make up for all this lost time. God created women for the happiness and joy of her own husband and not for all men. The woman is a precious and rare pearl. The woman is the youngest child of God, because she is the last creation of God. God did not make me a woman to satisfy all men, but to honor God by honoring my husband. It was at the age of 16 that mom began to use her excessive and unhealthy desires, her selfishness, her egocentrism, and her life as a poisoned independent woman to satisfy. Today, I am 23 years old, she has been using me for money and living this life of anything she calls luxury living. If something had happened to me all this time, I am very sure that mom would have abandoned me, abandoned me, because everything that matters to her is not me, but the money that I bring her. Why didn't I understand all this sooner? Maybe I wouldn't have made it this far. Starting today, I am making the decision to end this life that does not honor me. For some time now, I have been with Gilles and he wants to marry me. I love him too and I'm going to marry him. The Almighty God of my sister Anne. Your name is Jesus, forgive me and help me. I am surrendering to you, I am giving my life to you, I need you, help Anne wherever she is. Amen. Hello mom, how are you? Rose I've been waiting for six months. I gave you a week and it's today after six months, that you're coming. Where is the money? You brought the three million dollars. Go see the inspector and give him the money so that he can release me. Mom, let me tell you the truth. You are selfish and very mean. You only think at you. You haven't seen me in six months. I haven't been here in six months. You didn't even bother to ask me why you don't know if I've been sick or had problems. You did none of that. All you care about is money. You never liked me. I'm telling you that I couldn't find anything, not even one dollar. I have put an end to this life of debauchery to which you have subjected me since the age of 16. I am no longer your slave or your cash machine. Mom, you have never loved me, otherwise you will not subject me to this life. You manipulated me and turned me against my sister. You wanted to destroy my life. But Jesus, Anne's God, saved me. The three million you took from Baba money. Did you give it to that young John Bandit who is your lover? You've been in a nightclub with him. You've done something useless with the money and you're asking me to come and pay. Call John to come pay. I'm not sure if he even came to say hello to you mom, I'm married and I love my husband. The bad life is over. Goodbye mom. You are ungrateful and bad. Who told you to get married? Don't go get married, come back here. How are you? Hello, loyal. Thank God I am fine. And you am just as well by the grace of God. I come to see how you are doing. Loyal. I don't know what to say to you. Do I have to tell you that I am well or am I not doing well? I don't know, loyal. I am overwhelmed and overwhelmed by all these situations that I am going through. It's been five years and six months since Elaine left. For four years, I haven't heard from him. I don't know if he's doing well or not. I've been out of work for two years and one year since my mom kicked me out of her house. No one was your help. I would be on the street today. There was no one to help you. I couldn't even eat. Loyal, it's stronger than me. I can't talk anymore, I can't pray anymore. All I can do right now is worship and praise. I give glory to God for everything. And I am really touched and troubled by everyone you go through. When I see you, I am really sorry that I can no longer find adequate words to console you. My heart is crying in pain for you, and Elaine will be back. Let us always remain in trust in God. It is not easy at all, 
but in spite of everything, let us trust in God and stand firm on what he has told us. Elaine is going to come back victorious, and you are going to get married. Don't work by those we see, but let's walk by faith. Let's walk by standing firm on God's love, his faithfulness, and God's promises. Whatever is happening, whatever is happening, whatever is not understood, Elaine will return according to God's promise. I know that you are tired, but do not let yourself down. Do not give up. Persevere, because the bell of your victory has rung. May the Holy Spirit strengthen your inner soul. May the Holy Spirit renew your strength in the name of Jesus Christ. Loyal, I would like to thank you so much for all that you do for me. I am running out of words to say thank you. May the Lord give it back to you a hundredfold. May he bless you abundantly. Amen, my dear sister. God bless you too. Soon, God will make your face glow with happiness. It's going to be fine. It is only in God that we can trust because he is worthy of it, unlike men. Trusting God is an assurance, because God is not a man to lie, nor the son of a man to repent of his promises. What he says he always does. God is all-powerful. Unlike men, he has the power and the power to fulfill his plans and promises. God is faithful and makes all things work together for our good. For all of these reasons, we need to trust in God alone. My beauty. Victory is on your side, because the God of all victory is for you, and you and with you. Thank you so much for your moral and spiritual support. I bless God for your life. And give glory to God for everything. Have you eaten? No, not yet. It's getting late. You must be hungry. Get up, I'll take you out to eat something. Okay, thanks, let's go. Hello Mr. CEO. Hello Mr. Detective, how are you? I am very well Mr. CEO. Thank you and how are you? I am not complaining at all. Thanks. Please Mr. CEO, you asked me to come to your office urgently this morning so that you could entrust a very important matter to me. Mr. Detective, I called you this morning to tell you about a case that has been close to my heart for four years. I am looking for a young man who is very close to my heart. His name is Elaine. Remember when I got sick and spent a year and ten months in the hospital? It was this young man who saved my life. Not only did he call the ambulance to take me to the hospital, he did not leave me alone. He followed me to the hospital and took care of everyone I had in the car without touching anything. I had very important documents, my bank cards on which I had a lot of money. I also had $500,000 in cash in the car. He did not steal anything at all. After all this, he never failed to come see me at the hospital. He gave me so much support, tenderness, and love. The whole medical profession asked me if I was related to him because they said that he spent so much time at my bedside. Although I was in a coma, he was talking to me, singing, and praying for me. Everyone was moved and stunned by his actions. I don't know him, I've never seen him, but he's in my heart. I have never gone a day without thinking about him. I have never slept without my thoughts turning to him. When I was discharged from the hospital and regained my health, I looked for her myself for a whole year, using her contact information at the hospital level. I called the number that was given to me, but it is still inaccessible. I have been to his accommodation several times, but nothing. I am confused and tormented because of his detective silence. I want you to do everything you can to find him. Elaine if you need to hire other detectives so that we can find him as soon as possible, I give you my approval for that. Thanks for coming so urgently. I knew I could count on you. Mr. CEO, I see in your eyes and in the way you speak, how you care about this young man. Don't worry, I'm going to investigate to find him today. I'm going to start researching. We're not going to hire any more detectives yet. Give me a week, I'll see how the survey evolves. If in a week, I don't find concrete evidence, then we could hire other detectives so that the investigation can move forward very quickly. Okay, got it. Thank you Mr. Detective, if you can find Elaine for me, I will give you four times the price I have to pay you. I don't know why my heart is so attached to Elaine, even though I don't know him. I really like it. Don't worry, I'll do everything I can to find Elaine. Please give me her address, anything I need for research. Here's all the paperwork you'll need. Thank you very much Mr. Detective. I am very grateful for the way in which you are taking this issue to heart. Thank you so much, Mr. CEO. 
I will drop by in a week to take stock of all the information I have been able to gather and decide how we can continue the work. Now I think I'm going to take my leave of you because work is calling me. Have a pleasant day and see you in a week. Okay, no problem. I also wish you a good day and see you in a week. Mimi. When I think of Elaine's situation, it disgusts me. I feel so sorry for him. He's been in prison for drug trafficking for four years. He has no friends and never goes out. I feel like it's a coup set up by someone who wants to harm him and there must be a sadistic and mean person behind it all. Something always tells me that Elaine is innocent. Who is this mean, sadistic person you were talking about? Things are not going well with you. You are ill. Elaine was arrested because heroin was found in small bags in his economics book. Elaine is a criminal, a drug dealer. Beware if you say again that someone else did it and that person is sadistic and mean. But Mimi, I don't know why you're burning up. Everyone is free to have their point of view on this situation. I don't have to look at it the same way you do. I don't agree with you at all. Why do you hate this young man so much? As far as I know, I don't think he did anything to you. It wasn't you who said you liked him and that you love him. How can you suddenly turn on him? How can you, in the blink of an eye, turn his jacket around? I have told you several times that we are going to support and encourage him because there is no one in this country. But you refused. Don't you want us to go see him next week? I'm not going anywhere. Don't ever ask me that again. Let him mold and perish in prison. Nobody's going to get him out of there. I am very happy to see him in prison. If I could do even more, I would. He saw nothing. Mimi, what did you do to Elaine? What is this question? Are you ill? I didn't do anything to Paul. Are you accusing me of being that mean, sadistic person you were talking about? You are crazy. Are you normal? But Mimi, I'm not accusing you. What is your problem? You are not the one who just said that if you could do even more, you would and that Elaine hasn't seen anything yet. Oh well, did I say that? These are just empty words. Don't consider that. Alright, I'm going. See you later. But why? We plan to go shopping together after finishing the homework. We haven't even started homework yet. And you're leaving. Pretty, you're starting to get on my nerves. I have to do my homework or go shopping with you. Goodbye. Okay, got it. Excuse me for bothering you. Goodbye. This girl is really weird. I feel like she's hiding something. Every time we talk about Elaine, she gets angry, uncomfortable, and upset. Why does she have such a terrible hate for Elaine? Either way, the truth will come out one day, no matter how long it takes. Light always has the upper hand over darkness. I'm going to see Elaine next week to bring him some candy and support him. Really? May Jesus, who he is used to tell me about, come to his aid, because I really feel sorry for him and for his fiance. Poor girl, it must be really, really hard for her. I would not like to be in her place. Hello Mr. CEO. How are you? Hello Detective. I am fine thanks. And you? To what do I owe the honor of your visit? I promised you that I would drop by in a week to tell you about the progress of my investigations concerning Lane. I can tell you that I was able to get some information about Lane. Wow, that's great. I can't wait to hear what information you have received. Elaine is in prison, it's been four years. He was arrested for trafficking and selling drugs. What? It is not possible. Paul can't be a drug dealer. Detective, there is something that tells me that there is a problem. You know everything I had in the car like cash, bank card, very important documents, my computer, my phone, and others. Elaine didn't touch anything. This act that Elaine has done reflects his personality to me. What can we do now? Should I call my lawyer? Mr. CEO, I'm going to visit Elaine in prison and try to talk to him to get his side of the story. Tomorrow morning, I will go see him and get back to you so that we can see together what to do to get him out of prison. When I get there tomorrow, we'll see if we need to call your lawyer. Okay, we'll do it like that tomorrow, let's get things straight. Thank you detective and see you tomorrow.
I have to travel next week, but I will cancel everything to see more clearly in this case. Mr. CEO, I'll leave you alone. Goodbye and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow and thank you again. Hello Elaine. How are you? And the mood? Hello Julie. I am well by the grace of God. For morale, it's not easy at all, but I trust in God, He is there. Take courage Elaine, it's going to be well. Your God will intervene to deliver you from this situation. When I see you, I really feel sorry for you and your fiancé. I wonder what your fiancé must be like right now. Jesus, whom you both love so much and serve, will help you. I know that you are innocent, that this story is a stunt every time I think of you. Something always tells me that you're innocent. Jolie, I don't know how to thank you. I have been speechless since you heard about my arrest. You never gave up on me, even though we have no connection and we just greet each other in the auditorium, you never stopped coming to see me and bringing me everything I need. Thank you so much. And God bless. Elaine, it's nothing. I do all of this with love and without ulterior motives. I brought you cookies, toothpaste, bread, cheese, and a few sweets. Hope your shower gel is not finished. I forgot, I brought you the briefcase and the t-shirts you asked for. Nice. May God bless and do wonders in your life, beyond your expectations. Elaine, I would like to give my life to Jesus. Every time I come here, you tell me about him. I know that he is good. That's why he died for me. I decided to give my life to him and to walk with him forever. Wow, it's great, pretty. Do you really want to give your life to Jesus? Yes, Elaine, I really want to give my life to Jesus. I have seen a lot of things in you and I would like to be like you too. I want to be saved and live like you. I am very happy for you. You cannot know the joy you give me by agreeing to give your life to Jesus. Repeat this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, thank you for giving your life for me. Thank you for your precious price that you paid for the forgiveness of my sins. Forgive me my sins, wash me with your precious blood. Today, I welcome you as my personal Savior and Lord. I give myself totally to you. Help me worship and honor in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord Jesus, thank you for giving your life for me. Thank you for your precious blood that you shed for the forgiveness of my sins. Forgive me my sins, wash me with your precious blood. Today, I welcome you as my personal Savior and Lord. I give myself totally to you. Help me to worship and honor you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now pretty, when by God's grace when it will be possible you will take your water baptism. You have become children of God. Your name is written in the book of life God is your dad. Wow Elaine. I am very happy. I have never experienced this peace and joy before. Thanks a lot Paul. Today. You and I became brothers and sisters. I say thank you to Jesus for giving me a brother like you, who I have never had in my life. I also found the grace of calling God Dad. That word that I never said because I was a wanted child. We'll have time to talk. It is an invaluable joy for me to also have a sister like you. Thanks for everything you do for me. Elaine I think I will leave if God gives me grace. I'll see you next week. Be well Jesus and with you. I love you very much my big brother. What do you want me to bring you next week? My shower gel, candy, fruit juice, and chocolate. Thank you darling sister, goodbye and take good care of yourself. You have to read the Bible, it will help you a lot. I understood. Big brother, goodbye. Goodbye sister. Hello Mr. Lane. How are you? Hello sir, I am very well. Thank you sir, I don't know you. Please, who are you? I'm a detective, I came on behalf of CEO Daniel. Do you know him? Yes, Mr. Detective, I know him. How is he? How is his health? I was going to stay by his bedside, take care of him. Unfortunately, due to my arrest, I was no longer in the hospital. I never stopped thinking about him. I no longer had the opportunity to go see him, but my heart was with him and I never stopped praying for him. Do not worry, Mr. Daniel has fully recovered his health. 
If you see him, you will not know that he has been seriously ill and that he has been in a coma for a long time. I bless the Lord who listened to my prayers and heard the cries of my tears for CEO Daniel. I am very happy. You brought me very good news this morning. Mr. Paul, why are you in prison? We have heard that you have been arrested for drug trafficking. Is it true? I came to listen to your side of the story. Detective, I have never seen drugs with my own eyes. I have not been a drug dealer since I came to America. I never had friends. There is a girl in my auditorium named Mimi, who went out of her way to have a relationship with me. But I refused. She kept harassing, intimidating, violating, threatening me because of my refusal. She told me that she was going to harm me, that she was going to destroy my life. She even came here to make fun of me and tell me that I'm going to rot in prison. She came to borrow an economics book from me and brought it back to me after coming home to threaten me a few days in advance, four days after bringing the book back. The police showed up at my house to arrest me. The inspector informed me on the day of my interview that they found drugs in small bags in my economics book. Here is my story, Mr. Detective. Okay, Mr. Elaine, I have taken good note of everything you said to me. Thank you for your trust. Don't worry, the CEO and I will do everything we can to get you out of here. I will make inquiries to gather the necessary evidence. What is the name of the girl who is harassing you? Her name is Mimi. Okay, got it. I think I'm going to leave. We'll see each other next week or two weeks from now. Be well and especially courageous. Thank you Mr. Detective. Lots of things to Mr. Daniel. Tell him that I am very happy for his recovery and thank you for his help and attention to me. Goodbye Mr. Detective. Goodbye Mr. Lane. Hello Mr. CEO. How are you? Hello Detective. I am fine, thank you. And you? I am fine too. Thanks. I went to see Elaine this morning. He sends you his greetings and thanks. He was very happy to hear that you are completely healed. He said he never stopped thinking about you. It really means a lot to me. You argued that everything, he said. There is a girl named Mimi who made advances to him. But because he refused, the girl threatened him and said she would take revenge. She brought back to Elaine her economics book, which she had previously borrowed from him. In this book were small bags of drugs. That's why Elaine is in prison. It is not possible. What a mean girl. What are we going to do now? I want Elaine out of there in two weeks at the latest. Don't worry, I've already come up with a plan. We're going to ask to see the cameras in Elaine's prison and home. Okay, I'm going to let you do your job. I am waiting for a satisfactory result. Don't worry, count on me. I think I'm going to leave. I'll let you know when I have news. Okay, no problem. Goodbye detective. Goodbye Mr. CEO. Hi Lane, how are you? I miss you so much. Hello Mr. Daniel. I am well by the grace of God. Thanks and you? I am fine too, thanks. I looked for you to no avail. I am very happy to have found you. I miss you so much I miss you so much too. There is not a single day that I have not thought of you. I give glory to God for your total healing. Elaine I am so thankful for everything you have done for me. We'll have time to talk when you get out of prison. Don't worry, I'll do everything I can to get you out of here in a month at the latest. Can't wait to see you by my side. You are an amazing young man who I really like. Thank you with all my heart, Mr. Daniel. I love you very much. Elaine I brought you lots of things, drinks, fruit juices, cookies, and lots of other things. I asked a restaurant to come and deliver breakfast, lunch, and dinner to you every day. Do not hesitate to order anything you want to eat from them. Thank you Mr. Daniel. God bless you. Elaine, I'm going to leave you hoping with all my heart that in a few weeks we'll be together. I hope so too by the grace of God. Bye Elaine, take care of yourself. Courage. Goodbye Mr. Daniel. I am very happy with your visit. God bless you. Hi Mimi, how are you? Hello sir, I am very well, thank you. Who gave you my name? I don't know you. How can you not try to know the name of such a charming and radiant girl like you? 
You really are a true light in the dark. No man can resist your charm and beauty. My name is David. Enchanted. It is a great pleasure for me to meet you. You are very cute, you are very chic and chic. Mimi. You are very beautiful and very elegant. Thanks. I am very touched. Where do you know me? I'm in the same college as you. Auditorium, 400. When I see you in the cafeteria, I'm just admiring. You are very... beautiful. It's great. Now we will always be together so that we can both admire each other well. You know, Mimi. I also found a new ally. I overheard a conversation you were having with your girlfriend about Elaine. I saw that you don't like him. I also don't like this guy at all. He is too boastful. I tried to make him my friend, but he rejected and humiliated me. I was very happy when I found out that he was in prison. It's well done for him. I didn't know there was anyone who was very happy to see Elaine in prison. I am delighted every morning that comes to see him in prison. You know, Mimi, if we could find the key to Elaine's house, we were going to put more drugs into his belongings. That way, the evidence will be even more overwhelming. David, that's a great idea. How are we going to do it? Let's think together to come up with an idea where we can find drugs. Me, I have no idea. David, don't worry, I can find some. I would go see the person who got me the drugs that I put in Elaine's book. Wow, so it was you who did it. You are very strong. I admired you a lot. I wasn't supposed to tell you that. I spoke too fast. Hope you keep it a secret. Don't worry, I'll keep it a secret because we're allies. For my part, I will try to find out how we can get into his home without being seen and without leaving traces. I'll give you the report in four days. What do you think about it? That is perfect, David. It is a very good idea. Mimi, I'm going to leave you alone. I have a very urgent appointment. You're going to give me your number. I'm going to call you so we can meet somewhere in four days to put our plan into action. My number is 1112. Okay, thank you so much. Bye Mimi. See you in four days. Bye David. See you in four days. Hello Mr. Inspector. Good morning sir. What can I do for you? I am Detective Mark. I came to see you in relation to one of your inmates, whose name is Mr. Lane. It's been four years since you arrested him for drug trafficking. Oh yeah, I remember. What is the problem? Mr. Inspector? Mr. Paul is not a drug dealer. He is innocent. I brought you all the evidence. All this was contrived by a girl named Mimi who wanted to have a relationship with Mr. Lane. But he refused. Mimi retaliated by putting drug bags in Elaine's economics book that Mimi had previously borrowed. Listen to these audios, please. It's not possible. But it's true. We arrested an innocent man. Who is that girl? We have stopped it. I'm going to send my elements to catch him. I will also hurry to file for the release of Mr. Elaine. In two weeks at the latest. I will call you to let you know the date. Thank you very much, Mr. Detective. Thank you, Mr. Inspector, for your understanding and common sense. I think I'm going to leave you guys alone. Goodbye, Mr. Inspector. Goodbye, Mr. Detective. You are under an arrestation. Follow me. What do I have done? You are accused of drug trafficking and criminal act against an innocent man, Elaine. Elaine, I am very glad that you are free today. I thought I would pick you up myself. How do you feel? I know you've been through a very difficult situation. Mr. Daniel, I don't have enough words to express how I feel. I give glory to God for his love and for all his benefits. 
I would like to sincerely thank you for everything you have done for me. God bless you. Four years in prison unfairly. It was not easy at all. I thank the Holy Spirit, who has been an infallible support for me. Without God, I couldn't get through these challenges. It's good now it's all over. Starting today, these would only be past events for you. I'm going to bring you in to buy some clothes. In the evening, we will go to the restaurant to celebrate it. You're going to live with me at home. Okay, Mr. Daniel. Thank you for everything. Lord, I would like to thank you for your love of protection and help. Thanks for freeing me from prison. Thank you for the life of Mr. Daniel through whom you acted. May all the glory go to you. I want to say thank you for Anne's life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. What will Anne be like right now? I need to call her, but I don't have any money. I'll see what I'm going to do in three days. I'm going to ask Mr. Daniel for help. Lord, I put everything in your hands. Elaine, how did you like the evening? Hope you enjoyed it. Yes, Mr. Daniel. I really liked it. It was a magnificent evening. I am very happy to know that you enjoyed the evening because I organized it especially for you. Elaine, I want you to tell me about yourself. Are you married? Mr. Daniel, I am not married, but I have a fiancé that I love very much. We plan to prepare for our wedding when I received a scholarship to come and train here in America, in economics and management. After succeeding in a competition, I was first in my class. I don't have parents. I was disowned by my dad when my mom was still carrying my pregnancy. After I was born, my mom also rejected and abandoned me. I give glory to God who made me his beloved and precious child in Jesus Christ. God gave me his love, joy and the desire to live. God has filled me with his love and healed all my wounds. God is my dad, he loves me very much. I am really touched by your story. Don't you want to hear your fiancé? You haven't heard from her for four years. Tomorrow, I will give you a phone and one of my bank cards so that you can make all the expenses you need. I would also like to meet your God and your fiancé. Thank you Mr. Daniel. Could I ask you a question please? It's no problem. Ask me any questions you want. You don't have wives and children? I lost my wife and children in a car accident 20 years ago. I couldn't get married again because I love my wife very much. I was 42 when they left me. Today, I am 62 years old. It was very difficult for me. The day you saved my life by taking me to the hospital. It was the 20th year of their accident. None of them survived the accident. They were all dead. My wife and my three sons. I gave myself to alcohol, but over time I gave up because I understood that alcohol not only did not solve my problem, but destroyed my life. I fully immersed myself in my work. I am a CEO and I have several companies around the world. Do you know the Joyce Society in your country? Yes, I know the Joyce Company. Wow, that is great Mr. Daniel. I am so sorry for everything that has happened to you. I will pray that the Lord will heal you and give you the joy of life again. It is not too late for you to start your life. Thanks a lot Elaine. The day I was told about you in the hospital, I felt something profound for you. I would like to make you my adopted son. If you want, we'll do all the necessary paperwork before you travel. You can think about it and tomorrow morning you will give me the answer. We're going home. It's getting late. We'll continue our chat at home. Thank you Mr. Daniel for everything you do for me. Tomorrow morning I will give you my answer. Hello Elaine, did you sleep well? You had sweet dreams. Hello Mr. Daniel. I slept well. I give all the glory to God. And you. Elaine, I am very happy. I have a profound peace. A special joy animates me. Thanks a lot Elaine. Yesterday, when I accepted Jesus into my life, I noticed the change. I give glory to God who allowed me to meet you. Do you want to be my son? I bless the Lord for what he did in your life last night to bring all the glory to him. I agreed to become your son. I am very happy. I am going to call my lawyer to do the paperwork. I would not travel anymore. You are going to take my place. I would just be supervising things. I am going to give you time to go to your wedding with my daughter-in-law because you missed her so much. You will go and oversee the company that is in your country. Okay dad, got it, I'll do it. 
You're going to call your fiancé to talk to her. I want you to leave in a week or two. We are going shopping to pack suitcases. You will buy everything you need for your wedding, your wife and your friends. You're going to send money to Anne to prepare for your arrival. Dad, I'm going to pray for you to get married again. I love you a lot, Dad. I will think about it, my son. But right now, it's you that matters to me. I love you very much Elaine, my son. You cannot know the peace I had in the bottom of my heart when you called me Dad. Hi Anne. You look really bright this morning. Wow! Extraordinary. It's not necessary for me to ask you if you are well. Loyal. I am very happy. There are not even words to express my joy. I give thanks to God. I praise God for his faithfulness. Elaine, my darling, called me yesterday. We spent the night talking until the wee hours of the morning. He told me everything he went through. No has been the powerful hand of God. My darling is not coming back to me. When God makes a promise, no matter what the enemy's plan is, it is fulfilled. Because the one who made the promise is above all. It was not easy, but we have overcome glory, glory, glory to God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And, I am very happy. We had the victory. I also spoke with Elaine yesterday. He explained everything to me. He suffered. I praised the Lord all night long. I hoped against all hope and I won. I also talked to my daddy-in-law. I give glory to God for his life. Your stepfather talked to me too. He is very kind, humble, and simple. It doesn't look like he's a billionaire in dollars. Faithful, Elaine talked about the errands we are going to do to prepare for his arrival. Yes, sister. He told me everything. Loyal. Thanks for everything. If all of God's children could be like you, that would be great. I bless God for your life. We can leave. Let's go, Anne. Dad, I've finished all the formalities. May the Lord protect you. Elaine, I'm going to miss you so much. Dad, I'm going to miss you too. You don't want to call Anne and tell her you're coming? No, Dad. I would like to surprise her. Are you sure you recognize the house? Don't worry, Dad. She sent me the address. I will arrive in two weeks. Tomorrow morning, I will be by her side. Dad, take care of yourself. I'll call you every day. I love you, Dad. I love you too, son. Who is knocking on the door? Who could possibly come here very early this morning? Fidel told me yesterday that he would come to see me in the evening. I'm coming, please. <music> Elaine, Elaine, my love, it's not possible. Am I dreaming or what? My darling, my dove. I am back. You're not dreaming, you're even more beautiful. What a surprise. I am very happy. I missed you so much my love. Thank you Lord, may all the glory be yours. Elaine, I missed you very much. I missed the smiles behind you so much. I thank God for the victory he won for us. I am happy. And I have an immense joy. The Lord is alive. Darling, I can't talk. It's as if I was living a dream. But it is true that I am in front of you. God has brought us together again, despite all the difficulties we have gone through, despite the oppositions. God gave us victory. Elaine, is really you. I missed you so much I give glory to God. Sweetie, I am so hungry. I was very happy to see you that I couldn't eat on the plane. I'm going to call Dad and tell him that I arrived safely. Darling, your father-in-law sent you two million dollars to create the foundation that the Holy Spirit told you about. After our wedding, we're going to start the formalities. Wow! 
It's great. God carried out the project for which he gave me life. When God gives the vision at the appointed time, he gives the provision. Thank you, Lord, my darling. Jolie said she would come to our wedding. But it's great. Jolie is very nice. I bless the Lord for his life. God bless her with a good husband. She helped me a lot when I was in prison. She's my darling little sister. We're going to celebrate our wedding in a month at the latest. Just enough time to make the preparations. A month is too long for me. You know, my love, I won't sleep here with you until we celebrate the wedding. I will sleep at the hotel or with Fidel. I need to go oversee our jet ski company. And here, your husband became CEO of the Joyce Company, founded in several countries around the world. Congratulations, my love. Honey, you're right, but I don't want you to sleep at the hotel. I want you to sleep at Fidel's house. You are scared or jealous. I understood, my love. I will sleep with Fidel. Honey, I'm going to go prepare your meal while you call Dad and Faithful. I'm going to take a shower before I call them because I need to freshen up. Okay, see you later, sweetie. Hi, Mimi. How are you? Hello, Jolie. I am fine and you. I am also well by the grace of God. You know, Mimi, I can't leave without telling you. I am traveling. In two days, I'm going to go to Elaine's wedding. I'm going to stay there for 10 months before coming back. If you don't see me anymore, it's because I've traveled. Okay, have a nice trip. Have a nice stay there. Thank you so much, Mimi Mimi. Please give your life to Jesus. I'm going to think about it. Thanks for the advice. I brought you some candy, fruit juice, and chocolate. Thank you very much. I will leave you alone. I have errands to do. Bye and be well. Bye Jolie. My darling, I give glory to God for this wonderful and unforgettable day. Today, we have become husband and wife. I love you, Anne, and I will always love you. And D finally darling, today we became husband and wife. It hasn't been easy at all, but God always wins. Today, I will no longer sleep at Fidel's. Oh yes, Elaine, darling, I am not dreaming, but it is true. I am Mrs. Elaine Ann. Mrs. Elaine Ann. Hello Elaine, CEO of the company. I am fine my brother. We are fully ready for the inauguration. Can't you see how the founder, Mrs. Elaine Ann, is in charge? Elaine. Truly, God is great. I give him all the glory. I didn't know he had reserved such a big seat for me. Soon I'm going to get married too. Oh good. Who is the lucky one? It's Jolie. It's the choice that God made for me. She accepted. She told me she would come to see you at the house. I didn't tell you anything you are her big brother and you mean so much to her. Thanks Loyal. You're giving me very good news. She is my sister and she means a lot to me too. Congratulations. I'll let you work later. See you later, brother. Honorable guests, welcome to the inauguration of the Go The Light Foundation. The purpose of this foundation is to help and care for orphans undesired and rejected children financially, spiritually and emotionally. We help them thrive financially, emotionally, and socially. I would like to thank the Eternal Almighty God who is the pillar of this foundation, not to mention my stepfather, CEO Daniel, who is one of the sponsors of the foundation, as well as my husband Elaine who is a great support for me. I thank everyone who helped us to achieve this work. Thanks also to the Director General of the Foundation, Mr. Fidel, who is present here. God bless the Foundation. Thank you for honoring this inauguration with your presence. God bless you. Anne, my darling big sister, congratulations to you. Rose, my darling sister, how are you? Very happy to see you today. I am very well. I looked everywhere for you, I saw you on TV and came to see you. Anne, forgive me for all the pain I've caused you. I gave my life to Jesus. 
I am married and have two children. My husband is also a Christian. Darling, you have to forget everything that has happened. I have forgiven you since, I love you and will always love you. And mom. She gave instructions to the prison service not to accept our visits. It's been a very long time since I saw her. It is sad. You know, Rose, I'm going to give you my phone number, you call me and I'll send my driver to pick you up. You're calling me tomorrow because in two days I'm going to a conference in Eastern Europe. We will have time to talk at my house. Congratulations. I love you very much my friend. I love you too, sweetie. Sweetie, you were great. I love you, you are special. The guests are waiting for you. Your daddy and ma came to surprise you. Darling, thanks for everything. I love you, you are my treasure. Let's go see the guests. Brothers and sisters, that's it all for this video. If you like this video, feel free to like it, comment and share around you so that many souls be saved and restored. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you.